Hello Sagittarius and welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are having a great day today. So let's see what's going on around you in love, what spirit wants you to know. Just take what resonates, leave the rest behind. You may even witness somebody getting their karma, okay? Um, that's kind of the feeling that I'm getting here. Like you're going to witness this. Ooh. You know what I'm picking up on all of a sudden? You're going to possibly see this person and you're going to see the pain on them, okay? Um, I'm getting that they've really changed. Uh, the burdens that they've been carrying and the things they've been going through, this person could have gained a lot of weight. They could look much, much, much older. Maybe you, you haven't seen this person in a while. The way, see, I'm seeing like this is your energy, this little deer here. And I feel like you're looking at him like, oh my gosh, are you okay? Like maybe when you see this person, you're going to be blown away because their looks have changed. I feel like this person, um, they could have been betrayed recently. Um, I feel like they've had a lot of karma come down on them for the things that they've done to you. Um, and the divine has been trying to lead this person. Maybe they're thinking about all of the things that they've done in the past. Or they're being shown some things here. Uh, they're walking away from anything toxic. They're turning their back on the devil. This person may be trying to make a major life change, okay? Because I'm seeing them possibly walking away from a lot of people here, just letting things come to an end. Yeah, they're wanting to get back together with you. But, I, you know, I just feel like um, when you look at this person, they, uh, they don't look good. They've been through a lot. This person could have actually been in some kind of jail or something, okay? Um, very Feeling very, very stuck. Um, unable to stop thinking about you for sure. You could be dealing with a Pisces. You could be a Leo or dealing with a Leo. Um, I've got Capricorn out here, Virgo, Taurus, Aries. clarify this hangman they're seeing things from a whole new perspective now though okay now they want to come in and apologize for the way that they've acted the way that they've treated you um, on the bottom of the deck here yeah they know they this is a soulmate connection twin flame possibly that that's been sabotaged clarify the five of swords this person could have been listening to other people. Um, they could have allowed someone else to get in the way of this connection as well. And it's like now they don't want to let go. Um, they could also be having a lot of huge money struggles right now. Um, uh, yeah. Look, they're wishing for you here. They don't want to let you go. If you look at this card, you know, at first glance, it looks like this person is picking you up and holding you up, okay? No. No, no, no. He's got a hold of your wrist. <laughs> he doesn't want to let you go, and I feel like you're elevating here. Honestly, this is the only energy of yours that I have out here, is right here. Um, just moving on with your life, upgrading, um... And they don't want to let you go because they're realizing that you're their true soulmate here. I feel like they're getting ready to talk. This person wants to change their life around. Okay. Um, and they're walking away feeling betrayed by a lot of other people. I feel like they're turning their back on, a t on like toxicity. Okay. Any kind of toxic lifestyle. They could even be trying to break some kind of bad habit. 
This person could have been like a heavy drinker because I saw the Nine of Cups in the deck here. Um, maybe they're wanting a better lifestyle. Um, they could have even recently, like I said, had some really bad health issues. And so they know they need to change their life. And this is the time to do it. They may have to get some... This to me is usually, I want to say rest and rejuvenation, but I feel like this person just needs to rest and maybe even get their health back because they are looking really worn, okay? Their looks have changed so drastically when you see this person, and I feel like you will. You'll see them out and you'll realize it right away at first sight that they are getting their karma. It's going to be all over them. Yeah, I feel like this person has been watching you or they're being, you know, if they're trying to recover from some kind of really bad habit, like um, it could be something like alcoholism or um, substance abuse, something like that. They're being kind of monitored. They may, this could even be something like um, them being in a recovery place, okay? and watched over but you're the this is what all that they can think about is is improving their situation improving their health trying to um walk away from a toxic lifestyle so that they can be the kind of person that um that you need them to be they do not want to let you go they know that with you they can be happy okay um, I feel like they, they could have listened to somebody else talk about you. I'm also feeling like, you know, this is theft, right? Stealing. I, I just feel like they, you know what? It's almost like they feel like they've had their chance stolen away from them. Um, when it comes to you or this person could be, I don't know. I feel like they're definitely thinking about an earth angel here. This could be somebody planning, plotting, strategizing, but that's not the feeling that I'm getting off of this person. I feel like um, they, they maybe allowed other people to get in the way of this connection. They could have listened to other people about you. Um, turn their back on, on an earth angel. They're seeing you now as their wish fulfillment. Okay. Um, as the empress. So they had no idea. They, I feel like they believed other people's lies and they're looking back on everything and they're realizing, you know, um, they could have been, they could have hooked up with the queen of wands energy. She may have something to do with this. Because I'm feeling like this is a different energy. You could be a Sagittarius, Taurus, Aries, Gemini. I feel like, you know, honestly, I, I, what I'm picking up on here is that they listen to somebody else. Possibly lie about you. Okay, and it broke up this connection. They turned their back on you immediately without giving you even so much of it as a second thought. But um, they were under some kind of like they weren't seeing things clearly. They weren't they weren't able to feel the true energy of the situation because they were uh, they were on something either. Uh, I feel like it was a toxic lifestyle. I feel like it was. Um, Maybe heavy drinking, substance abuse, gambling, something. Something um, didn't make, the, they, they didn't allow themselves to think clearly, okay? And they listened to somebody else and they got with someone else who maybe reeled them in with a lot of passion, a, a lot of lust, okay? Um, and that lifestyle has really... Um, cost them their health, their future, all right? Their looks have changed. Their life has gone downhill. They've gone downhill, and you're going to see it on them right away. 
I feel like you're going to actually physically see this person and how much they have changed, okay? Because, see, they go from um, here, it, when they turn their back on you, they were, it, it's almost like they had some youth, some vitality, okay? Some strength about them. Now look at them, okay? Their lifestyle has um, drained them dry of energy and health. They're seeing things clearly now, though, with the, uh, with the hangman here. So I feel like as soon as they cleaned themselves up, right, um, so that they could they could think they could they could see what was going on. I feel like you've got your boundaries up against this person. You see them as a fool because you know they really did have an opportunity at the soulmate connection and ultimate wish fulfillment. And they, they completely allowed other people to get in the way, a, a toxic lifestyle to cloud their judgment. Um, they chose everything else over you, the Empress, every queen in the deck, the Earth Angel. Yeah, see, now they're watching you, and they're watching this end. Because you are, you may feel like you don't want to deal with this anymore. It's too toxic, you know. And they're feeling out in the cold now. So now they want to take some kind of action here with the Eight of Wands. Because they don't want this over. This person is trying to hang on to your energy. You may be able to feel them grabbing a hold of your energy. But this is coming to an end. They're having a tower moment. They can see that. They can see that they lost their chance. Okay? At an empress. Because of manipulation. Because of their party lifestyle. Okay? And manipulating others or allowing others to manipulate them. I feel like there were they were around th possibly three other feminine energies that were talking about you. Maybe spreading lies. And now they're they're realizing it, um, yeah. And they want to choose a new life. They want to they want to do everything different. This person really does want to try to be the kind of person that you need, but I feel like it's too late. You know, honestly, they're super stressed out because you're moving on. Okay. And they can see that they highly underestimated you. And I feel like you um, you just kind of stuck to your own business. You know, you kept working. You kept persevering. They may have at one point thought of you as not being fancy enough or not having enough in your basket or just not being enough. You know, but here's the thing. They're realizing the kind of life that you led and the things that you did, that's why you're out here winning. You live a much better life than this person does or did, okay? Now they want to change their life. They actually want to change their life around. And they're walking away from pretty much everybody in their inner circle to do it. And they could be spending some kind of time in a rehab center, you know, so that they can continue to see things clearly. What is this person's next action towards the collective? Because I do see them taking some kind of action here, trying to communicate. Or maybe they have already. They want this new beginning here. They want to put the work in. They want to be the kind of person that you need them to be. They, they want to come clean or they want to, um, they don't, they don't want any more of this toxic lifestyle. So they are coming towards you. I feel like, um, all cleaned up, wanting to change. Okay. You haven't heard from this person for a really long time. This is the slowest moving night in the deck. Um, and they may be afraid of what your reaction is going to be, but they want this thing back. 
between you. Okay. They're going to be coming in telling you that um, they've conquered something here. They have. They're getting possibly a lot of um, people in their inner circle that they're still around maybe encouraging them, right? They're getting a lot of encouragement. They are trying to work on turning over a new leaf here, and this person sees you as the one for them. So I feel like you're about to get this communication with the Knight of Pentacles out here. They're coming towards you. I feel like this is communication here, but here's the thing. This, right here, this chariot card. You could be a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius, or a Cancer, perhaps. I feel like this is you already moving on. I, I got to say, with the, it coming out with the Ace of Swords, I feel like you're going to speak your truth. You're going to drop the mic, and you're going to um, move forward with your own life separately. You know, I'm seeing you and your chariot, them on their, on their horse, right, with the sword right in the middle of you. And that's just telling me that this is a split. You're, you may not want this person back. They've had uh, too much toxicity in their life, or they've been too toxic, and they treated you like you were nothing. You can't just pick up where you left off. You're clearly having a major victory out here, too, whoever you are. Um, I feel like you're very determined as well. Yeah, the wheel of fortune's turning. This is the end to a cycle. This is um, a beginning to a new one for you. And you're about to be very um, independent, very abundant. You, you don't need anybody. That's what you're saying. I'm fine all on my own. I'm so used to being alone and in isolation that I've built something solid for myself. And I like being single now. I'm moving away from this connection. Or you could even be moving away. But, uh, yeah, you're, you're leaving this behind. It's a closed door. Um, that's that. If this person comes towards you, I feel like you'll tell them the truth. Okay. Uh, but this is where this connection ends. Just as your person is turning their life around. This person, yeah. Uh, you're moving on. You're moving forward. Some of you could be moving away. You've got the abundance here to do it. You're very successful. And you're happy going it alone. I feel like that's, that is your comfort zone right now. You know, this person left you alone too long. <laughs> now you really enjoy it. You know, you can focus on your own thing. Some of you may tell this person, I'm really sorry, but I'm just, I'm too busy uh, to have any kind of relationship right now. You know? You're going to have a lot of other options um, opening up for you here. A lot of other um, doors of opportunity. Yeah, justice. And I feel like it, you're, the scales are being balanced now, all right? Um, you could be a Libra. You could be a Virgo. But I feel like that's it. You got your justice, and they have... Um, Oh, boy. I hope this person doesn't go back into a toxic lifestyle because I'm seeing now a lot of drinking here, okay? Um, but, yeah, they're, they have a wish, the wish to get back together with you, but that's all they're going to have. Yeah, I feel like in order to get their wish fulfilled, they need one more cup, and you're not going to offer it. I'm seeing you moving on. Moving on to new things in your life. So they're going to be left with a wish. You're going to be getting your justice here because you will get this communication. But this is where this connection ends. And hopefully they don't um, go back to the drinking and the partying and the, you know what I mean? Because they're trying to get away from that lifestyle. But, yeah, I feel like this is going to be too much of a burden for them to take. I got to say, they may um, 
they may break down and start drinking or whatever it is that they were doing before. And I'm getting that you're going to be moving forward and you're going to be getting a new emperor. New love is coming in. New options. And one of them is this emperor. I feel like this is where this um, connection ends, you guys. Yeah, on the bottom of the deck, they missed out on a beautiful opportunity. See, they could have had it all with you. They could have had ultimate wish fulfillment. But their partying ways, their toxic lifestyle, their habits, whatever, um, third parties, people that they listen to and, you know, um, and allowed to sabotage this connection, right? I, I feel like um, it's all just been too much. This is why. It, they, they can't have their wish fulfillment without that cup. And I feel like you're going to be giving your love to a new emperor and moving on with your life. They just missed the opportunity. Yeah, you've made your decision. You're done. You're done. You can't trust them anymore. You're protecting your heart. You're using your intuition here. You could totally be an air sign, a lot of air. But that just tells me that you guys are going with the flow or you need something fresh in your life and you're done you're moving on you could be a gemini and they're going to be left in a lot of regret because this was a soulmate connection that they turned their back on this is regret remorse realizing the people they listened to before um were um untruthful right You know, they, they allowed other people to get in between this connection and now they're going to be in regret. And hopefully they don't, you know, fall off that wagon again, you know. Yeah, but you have new things coming in. Let's get your advice. What advice do you have for my collective? I just saw community on the bottom of the deck, so you could be making a house move um, to the sea. In reverse I feel like you know what you're no longer in your emotions um, over this person okay they're gonna be extremely emotional with you but I feel like you've cried your last tear you've cried your last tear over this person and now it's time for you to truly be happy what else can you show me Yep, a change is coming here, collective. New ideas, new um, creative possibilities for you. You've already built a solid foundation for yourself. Um, and now here comes this new phase in your life, right? Everything is falling, going to be falling into place for you. Yeah, your person's going to forever want to be coming back around. Okay, they're always going to be thinking about you. And the, and the soulmate connection that they turned their back on. The one that they lost, right? But you're, you're deciding this person is not for you. They're not for you anymore. You've got new plans um, and your life is changing, right? And you just want to be happy. So, yeah, um, you go from the stagnant energy here, not moving, waiting for this person, whatever, right, to reaching for a whole new life. Okay, so, yeah, get ready, um, because this is where you start your new life. This is where um, the cycle ends from the past and the new one begins, okay? And it looks to me like it's going to be beautiful for you, beautiful for you.